Tips Analysis. I hope you're feeling positive because this is the Introverted Positron and welcome to another episode of Tips Analysis. So today we have <laughs> some interesting stuff to talk about. Um, so it's the start of 2018, it's a um, brand new year for gaming, for this channel, for um, Nintendo in particular, which is of course the topic because that's usually the topic for me right now. Um, and of course, with the start of 2018, <laughs> we have an imminent Nintendo Direct that Nintendo seems to be quite maniacal about right now. But, uh, <laughs> for the moment, anyway, uh, we don't know when it's gonna come, and that, that's not really the focus, anyway. Um, what I wanna do is I want to take a shot and see if I can predict Nintendo's 2018. So, I'm gonna have fun with this. Um, of course, this is an analysis section of the channel, so I do have my reasons for thinking what I think, but this is totally predictions. There's no uh, inside knowledge or anything about this. This is just me taking a shot, mostly in the dark, and seeing if I can get a few things right. So we'll see what happens. But anyway, getting into it. So let's get some of the obvious stuff out of the way. Um, this year, we know we have uh, a Fire Emblem game, we know we have a Kirby game, and we know we have a Yoshi game coming. Hopefully the Yoshi and Kirby games both come this year and they don't get delayed. Um, <laughs> but what I'm thinking for that is that we'll see um, probably Kirby would be my guess in the spring. Yoshi either uh, late spring or early summer and Fire Emblem probably at the end of the summer would be my guess um, for those things. So those are the way obviously we're getting Bayonetta 1 and 2 next month and stuff like that. Uh, the fact that Bayonetta 1 and 2 are releasing this year makes me think that um, Bayonetta 3 probably won't be released until next year uh, but outside of those things let's actually get into the meat of it so um, the two games most people of course are excited for are Fire Emblem wait not Fire Emblem what am I saying uh, that two people are excited for that um, but specifically Metroid Prime 4 and the new Pokemon game for the Switch now, to be honest, I don't think either one of those games is going to make it to the system this year. Uh, the reason is because they're both extremely early in development from what we saw at E3. Uh, we didn't see really footage from either of them. It doesn't mean it's impossible for one of them to come out for the holidays this year, uh, but I kind of suspect that they're going to both uh, come out over 2019 would be my guess. Uh, maybe not both, but at least one of them. <laughs> that mostly in Metroid was announced because people have been looking for Metroid for forever and Pokemon because there were rumors flying around about it for a while now so I guess Nin I think Nintendo wanted to uh, keep people calm up about those and also Nintendo's an in Nintendo. Uh, Pokemon is an incredibly popular franchise so it made sense to announce it at E3 but I think it's still a little bit away. I could be wrong. I'll be happy if I am because I kind of want to see what Pokemon on the Switch will look like and I really want Metroid Prime 4. Um, I've been waiting for them to announce a new Metroid game like that for years, and I was surprised to get two out of E3. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> moving on from that. The other things we have to look at are um, things like indie games, third parties, and stuff like that. And indie games, I think, are going to still be strong on the Switch this year. Uh, there's no reason for them not to be. Uh, from what I understand, they're performing very well in the system, and so many developers are just going to keep on going with it. Um, in fact, some games seem to be performing better on the Switch than they do on PC, for instance, which is pretty impressive but it's also just because I think because they're easier to find on the Switch and the Switch is just a portable console which makes sense for indie games just because they don't require that same kind of uh, that same kind of power that a lot of AAA games do but that being said there's some amazing indie games and some of them may even make it in my top 10 uh, games of all time so there's nothing wrong with that <laughs> but uh, yeah so I think it's still gonna do strong with indie games I think the Switch itself is gonna sell very well this year um, I think what we're going to start seeing is we're going to start seeing the same kind of trickle of third-party games that we saw last year. This year, I think that's not going to change too much, but I think what we are going to start seeing is I think we're going to start seeing more uh, announced things for the more announced games for the system because it takes time to work for it, and Nintendo has only really proved to the third-party developers that its system uh, is a strong contender, a strong uh, a, a strong point for them to put their games on, uh, only in really the last year, which is fair to be honest with the way that we performed. Uh, but that's that's a completely different issue. <laughs> the point is though, is I think that we're gonna start seeing announcements for third party games that are gonna be uh, coming to the Switch sometime in the next year or so, but I don't think we're gonna see tons of third party games piling up this year. I think next year is when we're gonna start seeing that. But we're gonna start seeing the announcements this year, and that's gonna be exciting, I'm really, Interested to see what other companies start bringing to it. One of the best parts about the GameCube was not just that Nintendo supported it, and I know that it's still considered to be a console that didn't have a lot of third-party support because of the 
the small discs that were used and stuff, but um, I still think that we're going to see a lot of... Uh, but there were still a lot of third-party games on there that I love and still love today. Um, anyway, so those things I think are going to be pretty set in stone in terms of what they're going to be. And yes, this is going to be a quick video because there's not a lot that I really have enough knowledge about to talk about at a, if, at a huge like <laughs> extent because I'm not incredibly knowledgeable in these things. But I know Nintendo for long enough to predict some patterns, so hopefully I'm right on a few of these things. Anyway, that's not it though. Um, the last thing is surprises. So I suspect, um, I actually kind of expect a top-down Zelda to be released this year. Um, for hopefully the Switch, possibly 3DS. I don't think the 3DS system is going to be dead until the end of this year, basically. Um, just because it's been a little while, I know that we had Triforce Heroes since Link Between Worlds, but Triforce Heroes used a lot of a Link Between Worlds assets, so it was kind of a quick game to make, and uh, I think that they've been working on a larger project for a top-down Zelda, and I'd love to see it on the Switch, uh, but I kind of suspect it might come out for the 3DS. But I do expect the top-down Zelda to come out this year. Or not be come out, but to at least be announced this year. Possibly come out this year. Uh, we'll see what happens with that. Just because there are two Zelda teams, so it makes sense for them to release another game for that uh, for that part of the series. So I guess we'll see what happens. Um, outside of that, I think that there's still... I get this feeling that there's still something big that hasn't been announced yet for Nintendo. And I guess we'll see soon. <laughs> Um, I'm curious to see if the Nintendo Direct that does come, whether it's tomorrow, whether it's in a week and a half or whatever, uh, whenever it comes up, uh, that we will start to see something that we're not expecting. I just don't know what that is going to be, <laughs> but I, I do suspect to see some surprise that none of us even expected uh, to pop up sometime this year, um, and then we'll see if that comes out this year, if it comes out next year, I'm expecting something for this year. We'll see what happens. Anyway. And that's it for that. <laughs> uh, hopefully that Nintendo Direct comes out soon. Hopefully we're all happy with what comes out. Although, there are always going to be people that are not going to be happy. But, just have fun with it. <laughs> See you soon. Bye. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps with the channel and it's always appreciated. I'm going to leave some links here so that you can go check out some other stuff on my channel or you can always just search the channel. There's lots of stuff for people, playlists and all that stuff. Um, and so on that note, thank you again. Have a great day and remember to keep positive.